Greetings, this is Dr. Diana. This video is in memory of Buckminster Fuller, also known as Bucky amongst his peers. Buckminster Fuller was an American architect, designer, inventor, futurist, and visionary. Buckminster Fuller at a point in his life was on the brink of committing suicide. Luckily, he was able to come out of that state on his own and he decided that he would dedicate the rest of his life to helping sustain planet Earth as a single being. And one of the things that Buckminster Fuller is known for is the geodesic dome. Now he was actually not the first inventor of the geodesic dome. That was done by a scientist in Germany. However, Buckminster Fuller was the first American to apply for the patent for the geodesic dome and also get it in the 1950s. What the minister would do is he would look at nature's designs. He knew that nature was successful and he wanted to look at nature's patterns in his inventions. Now one of the things that he looked at was the tetrahedron and he found that this proved to be the strongest structure in nature for building. He compared it to the rectangle in buildings which was not able to hold up as well as the tetrahedron. In 1985, a complex group of carbons were discovered by scientists, and those carbons were called fullerenes. Spherical fullerenes have a shape somewhat like a soccer ball, meaning they have the interlocking pentagons and hexagons. It's very similar to the geodesic dome that Buckminster received a patent for in America in the 1950s. The scientists that discovered the fullerenes in 1985 decided to call the fullerenes carbon-60 after Buckminster Fuller. Throughout Buckminster's life, he studied the patterns in nature. He wanted to see how the patterns that nature used in building itself. And he found that the tetrahedron was a structure that was found very often in nature, and the strongest structure as well. Buckminster Fuller observed the patterns in nature, he found that Basically, the universe was made up of a continual array of tetrahedra. Examples of where we can find array of tetrahedra is in the protein shells of many viruses, as well as in the human cornea. Now, since Buckminster Fuller is most widely known for patenting in America the geodesic dome, what we're going to do on this video is I'm going to show you how to think like Buckminster Fuller as an architect. We're going to build some simple geometric three-dimensional structures using two main objects. Garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, and toothpicks. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually dip these structures into a bubble solution. And I've made my bubble solution using joy soap and water. I've also added caro syrup to the water and joy soap. Now caro syrup is a hygroscopic substance, which means that it's going to slow down the rate of evaporation. It's a carbohydrate. You could also use glycerin or sugar to uh, slow down the rate of evaporation. We are going to build inexpensive three-dimensional structures using minimal amount of materials, but these materials are going to actually make very strong structures. I'm going to start with the Pentagon and the pentagon interlocked with the hexagon makes up your shape of the soccer ball as well as the carbon 60 fullerene. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use garbanzo beans also known as chickpeas and you're going to buy them when you build your structures you're going to be buying them make sure that you buy raw chickpeas in other words they're going to be hard and what you're going to want to do is you're going to put your raw garbanzo beans in water for approximately three hours or more, cover them so that they become soft. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to be taking toothpicks and we're going to poke the toothpick into the garbanzo bean to form our structure. Now when we're building you need to make sure that whatever you build is a geometric structure. Think about symmetry. Now this is a 2D structure and it happens to be a triangle. Now what I'm going to show you is what we do, what we're going to do next is we need to build up. Here is the base of a cube and this is the base of what's going to be our tetrahedron. And this tetrahedron was probably the most common geometric structure that Buckminster Fuller used in most of his inventions. So we have our base of three with our garbanzo beans. We have three toothpicks and three garbanzo beans. 
We're going to take three toothpicks and put them into the garbanzo beans. And then I'm going to just take one garbanzo bean, place it on one toothpick, and we're going to now attach. The tetrahedron, it's a base of three, as opposed to this structure, which is three-dimensional, but this is a tetrahedron, it's a pyramid. It has got has a base of four. So this one has a base of four, this one has a base of three. So we have our tetrahedron and our pyramid. Now let's just do one more. We're going to do the cube. So we have a base of four. I'm going to place my toothpicks into the garbanzo beans. And we're going to put garbanzo beans, which have been soaked for approximately three hours. And we are going to then combine our toothpicks. So now we have our pyramid, our cube, and our tetrahedron, and I've also built a pentagon as well as a hexagon. And I used garbanzo beans, which were soaked, as well as toothpicks. Do not use canned garbanzo beans. They're going to be too soft and will fall apart. Okay, we're going to start first by dipping the tetrahedron into the bubble solution. And we're going to use the tetrahedron first because this was the most common structure that Buckminster Fuller used in many of his architectural inventions. As you lift the structure out of the solution, the soap film flows into a state of minimum energy. The soap film is in a state of minimum energy when it's covering the least possible amount of surface area. We're going to try the Pentagon next. And you can see again that the soap film all meets into the center. Our hexagon This film inspires parents, teachers, mathematicians, and architects, and anyone who's just hanging out and wants to build some simple structures, thinking like Buckminster Fuller. Simple materials, garbanzo beans and toothpicks, dipping them into our bubble solution to look at the minimum surface area phenomena. A phenomena that Buckminster Fuller obviously used when inventing his geodesic dome. Lastly, I challenge each of you to think like Buckminster Fuller. What can you do as a single individual to help sustain humanity on planet Earth lastingly and successfully?